Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video we're going to do the scary zipper burn look. We're going to start off gluing the zipper using spirit gum and make sure you cut off all the fabric from the zipper and leave only the metal part. Take your time guys, don't get frustrated, you'll get the hang of it. Using cosmetic wedges, apply liquid latex on the inside of the zipper. Also make sure to not put liquid latex around your baby hairs or your eyebrows because when you take it off, it's gonna hurt. Then separate the cotton balls and apply it over the liquid latex like so. And you're going to do this process back and forth until you finish the inner part of the zipper. Now start applying liquid latex over the cotton balls you just put on your face. I have already primed my face and I'm going to start with the foundation and applying it with a damp sponge. I already did my brow using the Anastasia Brow Wiz as usual, <laughs> so now I'm applying my shadows using the Anastasia Renaissance Palette. I put the color Burnt Orange as my transition color, and then Raw Sienna, or Sienna, I really butchered this, on the crease, Primavera on the eyelid, and a little bit of Cypress Umber on the outer corner, outer V. For my eyeliner, I use the Siate London Fierce Flicks. For my inner corner, I used MAC Nylon, Nylon Eyeshadow. For bronzer, I use this Makeup Forever Bronzer. For blush, I use NARS Orgasm. And for highlighter, I use um, Becca's Champagne Pop. With the same eyeshadow palette, I started placing it around the zipper as if it were a bruise. Using a pair of tweezers, I started pulling the, the liquid latex off my face so we can make holes and make it zeem, zeem. <laughs> seem like it, we have a burnt face. Using a damp sponge, put foundation on the liquid latex part when it's dry. Make sure you let it dry for like 15 minutes before you start putting paint over it. Now we're using the Laura Mercier Loose Powder 
to set our foundation. Now to start making this burnt live, <laughs> we're going to start using the same eyeshadow palette and mixing the reds and the browns to start giving this burnt face some extra vibes and make it look realistic. On my lid, I just put a dark brown color. I used this Makeup Forever red eyeshadow, but I applied it with my finger. Using this lash glue and string fibers, we're gonna cut them in little pieces and start making our stitched mouth. Make sure you wait till the glue is tacky as if you, you were gonna put lashes on. Now using scab blood, we're going to start placing it on the ends of the strings to make it look as if it just happened. Ooh. And start placing the same scab blood all over the inner part of the zipper. And then when you're done, then that's our final look. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something about it and got ideas from it. And thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Happy Halloween and be careful when you guys go trick-or-treating. Deuces! <laughs>